Okay, good evening everybody. This is Judy from Fox City's Quilt Company and we're here in our in my sewing room. Um, I think this is our second uh, Sunday in the Sewing Room Facebook Live video. So hopefully I'll get a little better at these as we go along. And today I'm lucky enough to have a cameraman so I don't have to uh, do both things at one time. So Tim is helping me out tonight. So tonight I'm going to talk to you about uh, pillow shams. We always, or pillow covers, we always seem to have an extra block left or something and we can make something with this. And tonight I am making a uh, pillow cover. Um, I gave my sister-in-law a quilt and she asked me if she could get a pillow for it. And so I have this all ready to go. She wanted a 20 inch pillow. And so I have measured this to 21 inches square. It's all ready to go and this is the front. Um, I measured it to 21 inches because on pillow covers, you want to do a half inch seam allowance. So that's why it's 21 inches. Then sometimes on pillows, and I have a couple samples for you here, I usually do just a little envelope where you just fold the fabric over and you slide the pillow in. Um, everybody knows uh, how to do these. They're pretty easy to do. And then um, another one, I wanted to try doing zippers. So this is one I did quite a while ago. Um, and it, this is just a regular zipper. So that's what we're going to talk about tonight. Um, we're going to do a zipper. So don't be afraid. I have a lot of people tell me that they're afraid to do zippers. And so they just uh, do the envelope. But I'm going to show you how to do a zipper really quickly. So um, it's very, very simple. You want the back of your pillow cover to be the same as the front. And I like my zippers to go a little bit higher up on the pillow because I don't like to have to fold the pillow in half to try and get the pillow in. So I have cut this fabric about where I think I might want the zipper to be. And I went and purchased a 16 inch zipper for this particular uh, pillow because it's going to finish at 20. Um, I didn't want to go 18. This seems a little too far to the edge. Um, this one went really far to the edge and I, I didn't like that. I wanted it a little closer in because it seemed like when you were laying on that, this got kind of pokey in your arm or whatever. So I have cut this piece of fabric so that the zipper will be up a little higher so I don't have to fold the pillow in two in order to get it in. And I did, very simply, I have two separate pieces of fabric and I've pinned them together. And then what I did was I marked the very center of the fabric. So this is 21 inches, so this is at 10 and a half inches. And then I marked the exact center of my zipper and I, you can see the little mark that I've made right here. It, it's a little faint, but you can kind of see it. And so then I laid it uh, right side down, just like I'm going to sew it in, so that it lines up with the little mark I made here. And then all I did was I just kind of guesstimated and I, I marked the end of the zipper here. And then I marked the end of the zipper here, and this is where the inside of the zipper will be. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take this over to my sewing machine and let me get this out of the way so you can see. I'm going to take this over to my sewing machine and I have a regular foot in the machine right now. And with a regular stitch, I'm going to sew a half inch seam allowance up to this first mark. So. We're going to sew and I tell everybody pins or pedestrians don't run them over and I'm sewing up to that mark which is where one end of the zipper will be. Then what I'm doing is I am lengthening my stitches on my sewing machine um, and I, I, I usually sew at a 2.0 and now I have lengthened my stitches to a 3.0 and I am going to sew a longer stitch where my zipper is going to be. So I'm going to continue sewing a half inch seam 
all the way down with a longer stitch. And again, pins are pedestrians, don't run them over. A half inch seam all the way down until I get to this next mark, which is right there. And then I'm going to reset my machine back to its original stitch length, which is a 2.0. And I'm going to sew a half inch seam the rest of the way to the very end of the fabric. And I will cut that and then you can see what that looks like. So you can see the shorter stitches here and you can see the longer stitches where the zipper is going to be. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this over to my iron and I'm going to press this seam open, but before I do, I want to remember where those lines were because I did this with invisible or with a, a heat um, marking pen. So when you heat it up, it um, disappears. So you can just do a guesstimate in there. So there's the end. There's the other end. And then here is the center of the zipper. Pin is really bent. And now I'm just going to press that seam open. And I am steaming this so that it gets nice and flat. And so now I am ready to lay my zipper. Oh, I lost that end pin, but that's okay. I got this end. Um, I'm ready to lay my zipper right in where I am going to have the opening. So again, remember this was one end of the zipper and I have it so that that's where the opening is and here is the middle and you can see that it lined up with the mark on my zipper and then here is the other end. So now I'm gonna quick change out my regular foot and I'm gonna put in my zipper foot. You don't have to, if you have a good edge stitching foot, uh, you don't have to put in your zipper foot, but I do um, because I, can, I feel like I can see better. So now I'm going to take this and I am going to stitch. I, I put my zipper right over that seam so that the teeth line up with that seam all the way down. And it's really pretty much the same width as my seam allowance. So I'm going to start a little past where the edge of the zipper opening is, and I am going to stitch. And I am stitching with a regular stitch. I'm not using a wide stitch. So your zipper is face down, and you're stitching right towards the edge of the fabric of the zipper. And you're going to stitch all the way down. And then it gets a little tough when you get up here towards the zipper pull. And I'll show you what I do when I get there. So I'm going to keep stitching all the way down. Now it's going to get really tough. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open I'm going to lift up my, my foot and I'm going to open my zipper. Sometimes you got to work it a little so that I can get this nice and straight to the edge. And I've gone just a little bit past where that zipper opening is. And I'm going to put the two pieces of fabric or the zipper lead together. I'm going to leave my needle down and then I'm going to lift my foot and I'm going to pivot right there. And I'm going to go across that and lift my foot again and pivot around. Now, if you want to, you can go back and forth on this a couple of times. So now I'm getting here and I'm going to go down the other side. And when you get to that zipper head again, you can lift your foot and just push that zipper pull right past your foot 
and you can continue to sew the zipper all the way down and now we're coming to the halfway point and we're going to keep sewing So I'm not really a pinner. Some people may want to pin their zipper in place. Um, it's probably a good idea if you do, but um, I'm not really a very good pinner. So, and then I'm going to stitch across here. And then I think I will turn it one more time. Um, some people back up, but I'm just going to go across it one more time. And I'll cut my thread and our zipper is in. So now you can see that on the other side, you can see right where your zipper goes. And um, so I can feel that the head of my zipper is up here and here is the bottom of my zipper. And then I'm just gonna open it up with a seam ripper because remember we made those longer stitches and that will make it open up really, really easy. And there you have it a zipper for a pillow cover. And it is that easy. So you're gonna trim your threads and you are ready to attach it right sides together on the front of your pillow. Now I made this a little longer. It's more than 21 inches. I will decide whether I'm gonna cut off the top or the bottom to make it 21 inches square and then I will just put it right sides together. Make sure you open the zipper, put it right sides together, so a half inch seam all the way around and you can turn your pillow cover right side out. And so that's tonight's lesson is don't be afraid of zippers. They are really that easy. I think this Facebook video was about 10 minutes. So you can literally put a zipper in, in just 10 minutes. And there you go, easy peasy. All right, everybody. Thank you so much. Come again. Bye-bye.